Hey guys, welcome to my video. Um, so today I'm just doing a really quick um, vlog. I just bareback schooled Terry a little bit because I've been having a few issues with him rushing into jumps with students. So I'm just trying to slow him down um, a little bit. I know he looks like he's lacking top line right here. His head is down and he does have a wither. And he's a little bit older, so he is doesn't have as much muscle as he did when he was a bit younger, but that's okay. Um, just chucking a gel pad and a bareback pad on just for his comfort and mine, so that I don't die from his wither, and so that he doesn't have me sitting straight on his back. And the gel pad's got a bit of support, so it helps him a little bit. Just chucking on some bell boots, because for whatever reason he trips over when he's not wearing them, and when he's wearing them he picks his feet up more. No, it's not overreaching. Yes, I have watched him before with other people riding. Yeah. <laughs> he, I'm just putting his bridle on here. He's currently in a Portmouth Kimball wick because I find he really likes the Portmouth bits. Um, we did have him in a straight mouth Pelham, but I found it a little bit too much. So I put him in a Kimball wick and he did really well. Um, he does get a little bit stronger when jumping, so I do like to have the curb option. Um, just for when I have um, less experienced riders slash his rider, his owner, sorry. He's also in a um, figure eight nose band because he puts his tongue over the bit and I find he tends to go much, much better when he's in that. He doesn't put his tongue over the bit and he doesn't throw his head the same way. Um, yeah, I'm just chucking on a safety vest because safety first and a helmet, of course, and off we go. Alright, so I did about... 10-15 minutes of solid walking before I started this um, with a different horse I would probably I would generally let them trot around on a loose rein to start with but when you let him on a loose rein um, he tends to like he's doing right there stick his head up like a camel and run through do a really fast annoying trot um, so I kind of like to have him round and using himself a little bit better. Um, when he gets close to the camera, there's actually a jump on the other, like the other side of the camera, behind the camera. And when we get on that side, um, he tends to stick his head up and rush, which is the rushing towards the jumps. So I'm just trying to school him on that. There's a couple of times where he rushes really fast with the trot and I lose my balance a little bit, but that's alright. Just changing directions. I like to do lots of upwards and downwards transitions to warm him up. Just because he is an older horse. Um, and I decided to do bareback because I tend to get a little bit ahead of myself too when I'm riding bareback and kind of let him rush because I like him to be forward when I ride him. Um, but when I'm bareback, I pay more attention to how fast we're going because I'm a chicken. <laughs> um, yeah. So. Yeah, just doing, I do a lot of rising trot and sitting trot. Um, rising trot when I want him to be more forward because, you know, every day is leg day. And sitting trot when I kind of lose my balance a little bit because I find sitting trot easier because, you know, western background. Um, yeah, he's kind of rushing a little bit here. I don't particularly love it, so I just kind of ask him to put his head down and come a little bit more round by half halting. And right there, I lost my balance. <laughs> Um, half halting with my inside rein and keeping my outside rein quite solid and putting a little bit of inside leg on. Um, and in a moment it might be here. I started a little bit of leg, leg yielding. I think it is here. I can't really tell. Um, he doesn't do it amazingly. He's only just started learning it. But as we come towards the jump, I wanted him to pay attention a little bit more. He also tends to run his shoulders out towards the jumps just because he's special. And he likes to cut in towards the jumps. I don't know, he's really funny. But we're working on it. And yeah, so he does really well here until we get it. Oh no, he didn't do it that time. Until we get about where the first cone is, he sticks his head up in the air. Oh, there's a dog on the other side of this fence. That's why there's black on the fence and it runs up and down the fence the whole time you ride there. It makes them really quiet, but it's quite annoying. <laughs> At least you don't have to worry about them spooking when you go to a show. Like I said, I like to do lots of upwards and downwards transition with this horse to keep him paying attention and I like to keep his body really active and using all his muscles because he's a little bit older and he's a thoroughbred and he raced and once they get into their later teens, early 20s, they tend to deteriorate and he's 19, so he's getting up there a little bit. Yeah, um, about around here is when I start getting into training stuff because right here he sped up without me asking, so I did a bend to a stop. And then just 
and moved him around on the other side and then when we get up near the fence he wasn't really listening so I got him to back up a couple steps. When he starts to get forward and not really listen to my rain cues I tend to get him to stop completely and back up because it's kind of the opposite of what he wants to be doing. And now we get into the fun stuff, the jumping. So we're trying to introduce jumps up the, so the truck poles, he tends to want to speed up and kind of run over them. Um, that one, towards the jump, he kind of stuck his head up in the air and ran a little bit, but not that much. This one also wasn't too bad. He was pretty good in this one. Um, he kind of just trotted along to it, and only in the last couple of strides did he stick his head up in the air, like right there, and then kind of want to go over it. But he didn't speed up too much. This one, there was a lot going on. I had to completely stop him down the bottom and half hold and like back him up coming up to it he stuck his head up in the air and went no I want to run and we had a lot of conversations about that um but that was because I put it up um and then he he does this really well and our conversation worked and he did pretty well he only really stuck his head up over the jump but he didn't um he didn't really run at all now here we start cantering I only got one can on footage because I ran out of memory um so I also did canter um in the warm up but my um, camera ran out of memory and then I had to delete some stuff to be able to get the actual jumping and then my camera ran out of memory just as I started carrying into them but other than that he did a really really good ride and I was very happy with him. So in these clips I'm actually riding my adjustment owner's little green pony. Um, we've ridden her a few days prior to this bareback and just walked and trotted a little bit but they wanted to do a proper ride before she started um, being ridden by the girl who's training her um, so I just jumped on her really quickly just to make sure she didn't have any dirt on her or anything and she was fine she was awesome so thank you so much for watching that's my vlog sorry it wasn't that great um, I forgot to take my big memory card I only had my little like six gig one with me so I didn't get to film as much as I wanted to but thank you so much I hope you have a good night